What's going on, fellow alchemists? Welcome to Quasar Astrology. Today, we'll be talking about Venus in the 11th house and how you can go about interpreting that in your chart to get a more accurate reading when you're reading your own or reading somebody else's. So, let's just get into it. So, Venus in the 11th house. What does the 11th house represent in your chart? Well, it's basically where you make your public debut. It has to do with your social circles, these are your friends, the people you tend to keep around, the people you tend to gravitate towards you. So when you bring Venus in here, this is where Venus really enjoys coming out into the world. You know, this is where Venus does a really good job at coming out, forming uh, the friendships and the partnerships and the unions with their friends. In fact, here Venus really wants a real friendship. This is not like the kind of just general superficial kind of friendships that you have. You know, you have 10, 20 friends. This is Venus who wants four, three, two even, even possibly one friend who's always there, but it's all encompassing, a real friendship, deep rooted type of friendship. Because Venus in the 11th house, being the 11th house being ruled by Aquarius or having the star sign Aquarius as the ruler and the Lord Saturn and Uranus as the Lords of this house, the 11th house is also where you have to do your service. So this is your service to the public. You know, this is how you're going to contribute back into the public uh, arena. And when Venus comes here, not only is Venus looking for an ability to something to really fall in love with and to push forward. It also can do, again, as I've mentioned, with that social, cir social circle and pushing forward into the arena with that social circle behind you or amongst you. You don't want to go into that situation where you go into the community alone. With Venus here, you want to go in with others to back you up. You want to contribute in a group-like atmosphere and help build real relationships with these people in the process of doing this great thing, this, this kind of project that you're trying to work into the realm of reality and into the public spectrum. So Venus here is really good in regards to trying to have that real, real type of relationship formulating the real relationships with your society and the community, the streets, the people around you so that you can actually give back to them. You know, it's it's a very it's it's almost like the moon in this sense in the sense that it has that feminine energy of trying to couple with other people and using the imagination to imagine a better world where everyone is involved, everyone has a creative uh creative outlet in which they can truly express themselves for the unity and the generation of the complete whole of society and your friendship group. So your social circle is not just going to be lighthearted. It's going to be tense. It's going to be really delve. It's going to really delve deep into what a friendship is supposed to be. It's going to have all the challenges necessary to formulate a proper real union with your friends, with your social circle. And of course, always look at what kind of sign is sitting on top of the 11th house. It all depends on what sign is sitting on top of the 11th house. If you have Leo sitting on top of the 11th house, which with Venus in here, you're going to be you're going to most likely gravitate towards the social group that wants to be seen, that wants to be heard, that wants to be known for what they do and what they accomplish in life. You know, so they don't just want to be seen. They want to be known. They want to be famous because of it. So always keep that in mind that the 11th house it's a house of service, it's the house of your social circles, it's the house of your close friends, and it's the house of how you give back to society and in what way communi the community is going to give, I mean, is, is going to receive you. And when Venus comes into this, Venus provides that feminine, artisan, creative energy and also that ability to meld and merge deeply with the community, deeply with your social circle, and provide a service to the community that you really enjoy accomplishing. You know, something that you really, really are passionate about. So, fellow alchemists, that's Venus in the 11th house. I hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and if you have any comments, drop them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time for Venus in the 12th house. So, take care.